<laughs> that's the kind of conversations we usually have. But um, one time when I was when I was a teenager, I I wanted to do something and I don't know what it was, but my mom said no, and then she also said. You are the weirdest girl in the world. <laughs> and, you know, that just really, that really steamed me. So I went up that night, and I slept in the attic with all the bugs and the bat poop and, like, the insulation falling out of everywhere. And so that, that just proved really how weird that I wasn't. <laughs> going up there and sleeping on these like desiccated mattresses and it you know, smells like crushed stink bugs and uh, the walls are like they like have this red drippy paint that says Jenny will die and, uh, my sister my sister Jenny I thought that was a fun thing when I was a kid <laughs> right Jenny will die on the wall <laughs> So I think I proved to her that I wasn't weird after doing that. Um, but but my sister Jennifer, she uh, one time, uh, I think I was about 19 maybe, which would make her about 15. I kidnapped her. Uh, I told my parents to, and I told her that we were going camping and uh, got her in the car and everything. And after she was in the car, I told her we were really going to a green anarchist gathering <laughs> in Pennsylvania, where we lived. It was probably about a two or three hour drive. Just so we lied to my parents, and I took her there. And uh, the important part of this story is that we, it was about when Pirates of the Caribbean was coming out. So we were dressed like pirates for fun. <laughs> And uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, some of you know that I drive a green Ford Tour station wagon. And at that time, the station wagon had uh, a gate, like a cage kind of thing in the back to keep the dog from getting mud on the front seat. So we keep the dog in the back. And so if you know anything about green anarchists, anarchists in general, they're really paranoid, and they hate police. So we drive up to this uh, gathering in my station wagon with this cage in it, and they're like, run, it's the cops! <laughs> <laughs> and we're dressed like pirates. <laughs> um, but my sister, she doesn't resent me for, for kidnapping her. She thought that was actually a pretty good time. And my sister is not an anti-civilizationist. She's actually was an anthropologist in college, and she wrote papers on why domestication is good. But other than that, we, we get along really well. We have a lot of the same mannerisms, and we look like each other. We think the same things are funny. And uh, so one time, I was walking with my sister uh, in the uh, drugstore. And out of the blue, she's like, I don't ever wash my hands. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't ever wash my hands either. And we like gave each other a high five. And, like, our hands kind of stuck together. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's true. I don't really ever wash my hands. I was walking by, I was walking here the other day, and I walked by the, like, clinic and there's a sign outside that says flu shots and I I read it and I was like flu shots I don't even wash my hands <laughs> and I, I said that to myself out loud because for some reason when I drink caffeine I talk to myself out loud most people, most people don't think of caffeine as like a a drug that enhances your communion with nature, like, mm -hmm. like, like mushrooms or something.